Hi everyone and welcome to a review of Foxtrot Beyond a Doubt. This was written and I think it was also illustrated by Bill Amend. So this one is just a, a comic series collection. I ended up giving this one five stars. I will say that that five stars is mostly nostalgic. I remember when Foxtrot was printed in the newspaper on Sundays. That's the only section I've ever read out of the Sunday newspaper or out of the newspaper in general because I thought growing up the newspaper was just for adults and by the time I was at the age where I would be interested in the newspaper it was getting thinner and thinner to the point that it was being more digitized. So <laughs> the comic section got smaller and smaller. The comic section used to be like I think like a total of four pages so you know, three or four pages, but there were a lot of comics. Foxtrot was always my favorite. I related quite a bit to Paige in this, um, or I thought I related a lot to Paige, I should say, when I was younger and was reading this, because uh, certain things that she would, that she likes, but that was me trying to project that it's like, I should relate to her because she's very much into fashion and as a girl I should be into fashion which I'm not but I don't know I just liked Paige I thought I related to her because I thought that's something that I should be and strive to be when I grew up but and the fact that she kind of has strawberry strawberry blonde hair I think that was the biggest thing so this particular collection of the comic was published in 1997 Paige is in ninth grade. She has an older brother named Peter. He is, I think he's a junior. Uh, and then her little brother Jason is like in fifth grade maybe. Um, but he is very much the stigmatized nerd. Very much into computers and kind of souping things up. And he has a friend named Marcus. Um, and things like that. Uh, you also get a lot of the mom and dad in this and some of their perspective of when the child complains about something, how they start to think one way, but then the child's really secretly saying something else. It's all in how you word things type of a thing. So there's not really much I can say about this because it's just a comic collection. There's not a plot because when the Sunday comics would co come, um, they would be just like a little strip of three or four panels and that was it. So each panel has a theme like being summer vacation, being at Christmas, uh, going shopping, getting ready for back to school, things like that. So it's, there's not a plot, but it's really fun. And there's not really any character development because they they don't develop. <laughs> they just stay the same age with each passing comic strip um, and I have a couple of these books um, all a different collection and I can tell you this they never age <laughs> they are the same in all of them which that's pretty much the point people just kind of say stay suspended in this particular world um, it was interesting there are where this came out in the 90s there are references to a lot of stuff that was popular in the 90s for example, in this particular collection and one of the strips, they get a computer. And obviously with a computer, it's it's not the thin screen that it is. It's like thick. <laughs> so, um, and things like that. There is reference to like the floppy disk. If you know, you know, the floppy disk is referenced. Um, and then I believe at some point in this particular collection, there is reference to CDs. Um, and having a few or a very small CD collection um, so that just a lot of nods to that and there's even the year 1990s I think it's 1997 or 1996 shows up in one of the comics in this and it's like well we have to live to that point and it was with I think Jason it's like we have to live to that year if we survived to that year so it's obviously with these particular collections going to be closer to the early 90s um, and things like that. Um, you do get this one collection. 
you do get this one collection where, as Peter, being a big brother, wants to tease his little sister. You have points where Jason, being the younger brother, wants to torment his little sister. But then it switches in as the sister, she wants to torment her big brother and her little her little brother as well. Um, I don't know. I there's That's really all I can say because there's nothing to talk about other than that I loved it. It was very nostalgic for me. I do recommend this comic series. Just be aware it is dated because of a lot of the te technological references that it can make. There's not a lot of that, but there the parts that are definitely dated because technology gets dated so quickly. The parts that aren't, I think, are pretty standard across generations as far as the feelings of going back to school, of having crushes, of those who like to do back to school shopping, um, and things like that. So, you know, of the ki and of the kids that want the harder stuff in school, the harder math tests, the harder whatever, or want to kind of hint to their teacher they want a pop quiz soon. So you, it can go across generations as far as that. The only dated one is just the ones regarding the technology. So um, there is a little bit in this about Super Bowl Sunday, um, and that is how the dad and the eldest child bond um, over this. So Peter is very much into sports in this series. Paige obviously more into fashion and Jason more into science and math. So, and that just, you know, again, is very realistic. Everyone has their own interests. So, and sometimes things don't cross over. Um, but yeah, so I enjoyed it. Again, very nostalgic for me. I'm giving this a five star, mostly out of nostalgic reasons. It was just very good. And I loved the nods with it being 2022, looking back and seeing the um, references for when this particular collection was made of 19 of the 90s of the 1990s that was very fun and enjoyable to me so that'll be it let me know if you have read Foxtrot and if you like it um, that, so again like I said that's it for this particular video so until next time stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book and I'll talk to you later